Devil Never Cry is playing again. On the left side. You may have seen this video here, where Norox showcases the classic buildings that you will encounter and you can actually see some like behind me here. And so I thought, why not be a tour guide for this video? Why not showcase some of the classic buildings that you're gonna encounter when you're outside the battlefield? And these are like really old, like created all the way back like over a decade, like 2006. This was like during Roblox beta. And some of these I have played, or like I have like little to no recollection. So I had to do some research prior to making this video. Before I get started, I do need to let y'all know that this is a 0.8 spoiler. So if you do not want to be spoiled, please click away from this video. And this has also yet to be in the main game. So if you're going to main DTS game, you'll be like, oh, why is this not in here? This has yet to be released. This is a preview for the next update. And so, do I need to ramble on? Eh, no. Let's get started. Welcome everyone to Rocket Arena, a free-for-all rocket fighting game made by Roblox. And this is the first ever Roblox game created back in January 2006. Yes, it's really old. Don't think the original game works anymore because of uh, Roblox updates ruined that. I think I played this like a few times back in the day. It sounds honestly like really addicting. These bridges can be destroyed so that, you know, players can't get to you. But you know, jet boost exists, so. This is basically what it looks like if I zoom out. It's just like that. Just these towers with advertisements. Something I didn't like tell is there's a health bar down below me, say Rocket Arena. Structure classic. There is a bonus where it will say destroy the classic building, destroy the Viper Squad from fight, or protect a jury. And so I thought that was like pretty cool. To like fly around and you see the classic buildings but yeah this is rocket arena it's really the objective is like so simple anyways next place we go welcome to roblox world headquarters it's oh i should be actually standing right here oops because the r is here it's made by shedlaski march 2006 but uploaded on the account builder man remember those times when builder man would automatically be placed in their friend list when you first create your Roblox account. I had that because, uh, I've been there. This was actually called Builder Man's original starter place. Well, something or Builder starter place. But then, like, changed to Roblox World Headquarters. This is such a classic. I don't know if you could, like, actually go up. Um, if I could go in, can I? Oh, no, you can't go in! Oh, dear. I'm on top of the world. I'm on top of the world. I don't know the rest of the lyrics to this song. The original game also has brick battle weapons, so you can do a free for all, or you can um destroy the building. Which uh, if you actually do destroy the building back in the day, there's no regain script. So if you want to see the building as full glory. You're gonna have to server jump, which I know is gonna be like a pain because maybe you're gonna come to that server one day and then the building's already destroyed. Which is also like really sad. Do you guys know this one video where uh, the Roblox tech boys explode? Imagine that! Being in the game and that would have happened. Imagine the amount of lag it would cause. You have this road here, which is used during the Viper Squadron fight, so you actually spawn here and then you take off so yep it lives here anyways next game welcome everyone to crossroads there's elements of crossroads here like this blue building here there's also the stone structure the castle structure and the canyons right there and these things are placed all over right here also this sign right here made in june 2006 by roblox and there's a free for all game where you have classic weapons like we know of the sword, the rocket launcher, super ball, slingshot, paintball, trailer, the bomb. Oh, the good days. This one is actually not part of it, like in the original game, but we'll get back to that one later. So, uh, Crossroads has a really interesting backstory when I was like researching this. So, uh, I'm gonna read off my notes here because this is honestly a lot. I tried to condense this in a nutshell. It was said that there were a lot of prototypes before this was finalized in July 2006 under the name of. Uh, 
Brick battle. Do you see where this is going? Originally, it was meant to be a showcase with three different sections, and then it evolved into a fighting game like we know of. That is like when shit last you joined. So during the development, David Bazuki and Eric Kaza were struggling to expand Crossroads to Celeste so, so join to improve the game. And then over time, Crossroads got updates and then it became the Crossroads that we know of. So I think I played this like several times. You know, the objective is simple, uh get more KOs from the other players. Use the variety of fellow weapons. Oh man, the more I like say this stuff, it's like feel I feel like so much nostalgia. Oh man. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's go to the next place. Welcome to Chaos Canyon. So, it was originally created by Shedleski, and there were other buildings made by Stealth Pilots, Yahoo, and Tingzi222. And it was hosted on the account Arena2 until it was moved to the official Roblox account in August 2006. So, there's elements from Chaos Canyon, and in the original game, there's six arenas. There's Pilot Luke's Battle Cube, which, uh, so that I don't confuse anyone, Pilot Luke and Stealth Pilot are the same person, it's just like, goes by two different names. There's also Sky Bridge, Ruins, The Complex, The South Water Village, and Endless Stairs, which I believe the purple ones are the Endless Stairs. It's another free-for-all brick battle game, just like Crossroads. And like the other games I'm gonna show on later on. I don't know how popular it was back in the day. I don't think I played this as much as I used to. Or well, I've never touched it at all, like when I was playing Roblox back in the day. Is it already October? Are we spooky season already? We're not, we're in March. Welcome to your express place. This is actually like the house here, and then over here we have the graveyard, and then we have the purple river right here. So, this was made in October 2006 by the Roblox administrators on the account Yorick. Now, do you see why it's called Yorick's Resting Place? Yorick's Resting Place was made for a Halloween hunt back in 2008, and in that game, you saw four rails to get to the end, and once you complete it, you get the Riddling Skull hat. Oh, I miss those times where um, if you like complete an event, you get like free hats. Oh. Man, I wish Roblox brought that back, but... So, this game is playable on Reverse Polarity's profile, but uh, you can't get the really skull hat. Here is a fun fact. So, there is a hidden secret in the mansion where... If you follow the sound of a telephone ring leading to the upstairs past the balcony... And it will lead you to a hidden room. And... In that hidden room is an office that explains the hidden video contest. So, I thought that was like pretty cool. But I don't know what the video contest was because I've never played this game before. But I think it's like these are the balconies right here. This is the graveyard here. Um, right there again is the purple river. And then over here is the haunted house. Um, like I said, I don't think I've played this before. I because I quit Roblox around 2008, but I don't know like what year 2008. Probably around uh, like summer. But so it's been like over a decade, so I have like vivid memory of like my days back in like 2007-2008. So, let's move on to the next place. Well, that was a quick change of the atmosphere. Once we were in the spooky place and now we're in the Winter Wonderland. Well everyone, welcome to Santa's Winter Stronghold. This is the place that is full of glory. And it's made in December 2006 by Roblox. This is a really hard game to research because I cannot find the original game. Sadly, it's gone. So, I'll just quote this from the Roblox Wiki. It says, and I quote, Santa is going against his elves in this place to win. Get more presents presented in the game. I kid you not, that's literally what the wiki said. Basically, I presume in game, while you collect presents, there's also, well, there's Brook Battle weapons. Y'all see a theme going on? I don't remember if, if I played this game before because it's been like way too long. Probably like once and then that's it. I'd say like, well this is not me being biased or anything, but this is like honestly one of my favorite builds because first of all, I love winter. Second of all, December is my favorite month and Christmas is also happens to be my favorite month. Like, wow, look at this. This is also just like so pretty. There's also the grid right here so you can actually like see down below. And then there's also the bridge here. Let's... Go back to Crossroads because we need to talk about that house. Alright, we're back on Crossroads. 
and on crossroads, we have Happy Home and Roblox. Yeah, the startup place back in 2007. If you create your account during that time, so you would have this house, this slide, this seesaw, and like a bunch of bricks. It just be this like huge green base plate and then those like four things would be there and also we have the brick battlers we got demolitionist there we got gladiator rocketeer inside there's a uh, super baller and the pulse right there and back there is slingshotter that's like the other brick battler and they have like these like furniture frames like the classic games and also Back here, I don't, I don't think you can see. It's actually like a really old Roblox music video made by Sick Master Luke. It's called The Pretender. I remember as like a child watching that like so many times and being like amazed by it of the production. And also, we have Kento right here who voices Japan Culture Announcer, and Bill Curtin right here with. Nico from One Shot. I remember playing One Shot back in fall 2023, and oh my god, I was I love that game. Y'all should play it. I just you need that. You guys need to play that game. It's so good. I'm going off topic, but well, this is in the main game. I don't know if I mentioned it already. So if you like, click on the like menu or like one of the tabs, it will direct you right here. Oh, also there's these planes here. So if you do the Viper Squadron, like during the Fall of the Legacy, the we'll call up backup, and so the brick battles would ride these planes here. So this planes are like stationed right here during the Viper Squadron, and that's all you get to say about this island right here. All right, let's go to the next one. Here we have Glass House right here. Well, this is actually part of it, but there's also like these guys right here. It's made in February 2007 by Roblox, and guess what? Glass House is another brick battle game. Man, Roblox loves these brick battle games back in the day. Instead of like being a free for all, it is a team deathmatch. So, how it usually works, and I had to research this because I've never played Glass Houses before, is teams get 3 minutes to get more points by killing each other. Whoever gets the most points wins at the end of the match. Yes, it's that simple. Also, like turrets. So, like, there's, I believe it's like these kind of turrets that's like scattered around Glass House. They can fire cannonballs. There's also like kill bars around the maps and um, they spawn, and that actually makes the game a lot more interesting. So, there's this Glass House here. There's also like, like these guys here, which I think they're part of the game. Oh, there's actually like a secret here. Wait, I need to show this. <laughs> this meme is like hidden here. Guys, please don't place Easter eggs. Nerox checks my PC. And this is guy from like Team Fortress. I, I don't play Team Fortress. Welcome to Ultimate Paintball. Made in 2007 of February by Mike. The same guy who made Minigame World. Oh man, I miss Minigame World so much. Oh my god. I remember like on the weekends I would go to Minigame World after school on Friday. Or like I would play like, on the weekends and it's so addicting. Oh man, I miss those times so much. I wish I could go back and like do it all over again. I would do it all over again if I'm being honest. Ultimate Paintball was the number one most played Roblox game during 2007 and the first game to reach 2 million visits. It was that popular and that's a huge accomplishment back in the day. I think I played this like once or twice and that's it. But I can surely say like whenever I go on the front pages or like the game pages, this game always pops up. I'm standing in the middle here because this is like white patch here. And uh, this is full face on there. So you can get points by killing the team, obviously. And standing on this patch here also gives you points. And um, it's a classic red versus blue right here. Um, <laughs> I actually want to see what's over there because uh, this is my first time actually standing there. And <laughs> is this? What is this here? Oh my god! It's Domo! <laughs> oh my god! I forgot like Domo was so popular. Like I see a lot of like, Domo related stuff on Roblox and people will be wearing this like Domo shit. There's also like a game on Roblox called Find a Domo or something like that where you like go around the map and find like Domos, like the hidden Domos. Also I just noticed like up there all like the structure. I don't oh no you can't go inside that way. And up here we have Cuddly. Who is Solus' voice actor, and I presume, 
based on what's happening here is that he's commanding his army of domos. Which is honestly like really funny, I, I like that. And on the other side, and I actually didn't realize this until like I uh, came over here. Here we have Yasuka. I actually don't play this game, but I just like realized that he was there until I came here. So I think that's like a really nice piece egg to put in for like the Yasuka fans out there. Uh, but yeah, this is Ultimate Paintballer here. And so, let's go on to the next place. What I'm standing on top right now is a Do Aspire. And this is actually one of the four. You may have seen like the other ones like throughout this video, but there's the yellow one right there, which we will get to later. And there's also green and red. Uh, and these are actually Brick Battle Do Aspire. That's where the game they originate from. Made in March 2008 by Superblocksman52. If you can tell by the title of this, it's another brick bottle game uh, where you can also destroy other people's towers and every 5 minutes it regenerates and then the process starts all over again. Man. So there's one um, with Santa with the Stronghold, there's this one at so far in the heights we will get to, and then there's like two others which I forgot where they're located because I have a really terrible memory. Um, but I'll like... It's getting foggy. Does this bring a fire look familiar to y'all? Well, it's part of Soul on the Heights 4, made in June 2008 by Chedlesky. This was so popular like back in the day. Like, oh my god, I played this religiously back in 2008 and in 2010 and all that because uh, back in the day I was addicted to soul fighting games. And that's all I cared about. So we have a lot of elements from so far in the heights. We got this bridge here. That's also like these towers here. And up there is where you get the... I was about to say dark hole, but that's not correct. It's actually the shallow through up there. But there, there's a lot of like so far on the height elements in integrated in this island right here. Um, there's also a so far on the heights original, which is the first installment. And 2 and 3 exists, and it's like building off from the original Sword Final Heights and then introducing like the different swords throughout those three games. I don't know about their whereabouts, I think they're like lost in the rubble somewhere. And the objective, well, you get more KOs as you kill, and get less deaths. Y'all, if you guys have... <laughs> Y'all, back in the day... My kill to death ratio was so terrible. Like, I would either get like no kills with like 60 deaths, or I would get like 5 to 10 kills and then like a lot of deaths. Like, that was, was so bad. Sometimes my highest killing streak would be like 20 to 25, and then like some would end it all. Oh my god, people can go on 60 and like have no deaths known. I'd be like super impressed back in the day. Like, don't know how people would pull that off. I don't think I would still pull it off because I cannot survive my life. Any original sword from High School, if you guys have played that before, uh, there are different swords throughout the maps and they have different abilities. And um, as you guys like see in the different variants of the linked sword in the main game, then you know what I would be talking about. And there's also like different power-ups throughout. So there's a touchstone which is in the main game. And then there's also like Shadow Spear, Jet Boots, Armor, and that's all I can think of. In sort of fight on the highest wall, there's also like different armies like disciplinary bricks, tight ropes, and wobbly plates. Which can be challenging at times, like if you're like sword fighting. Here's a fun fact. If you encounter Shedletsky in Sword of the Heights 4, if you kill him, not only do you get a badge that says you pwn Shedletsky, but you also get an official Roblox shirt saying that you pwn Shedletsky, which I find pretty cool. I don't think I've ever read Shedletsky like in that game. I, I don't think I did. Well, I mean, maybe once and that's it. But I think my sword, favorite sword back in the day was Illumina because it is so sparkly. <laughs> and you see this pillars here, those like. The pillars that you would see, like, for the um, now. And so, let's quickly go up here and have a quick overview. Here is the overview. Right here, also this rocket arena. And this is also the lane for Viper Squadron fight. Um, I actually messed this up in, like, the other clips that went for spawns here. Um, oopsies. Sorry about that. This tower right here would be where the Shadow Spirit Darko would be located. And also, if you go... 
down here, there's this teleporter. Where it will take you to like a different location. Where you take you to a safe area. That has the force fields and all that. Um, there's also like one right here. And this is like stairs here so you can get up to the main force. Anyways, uh, we're actually in front of Bridge Sword So I'll just like talk about it right now. Right in front of me is Bridge Sword Fight. This is honestly like the bridge of it. There's actually like more to it. And it's made in August 2008 by Omnitrona. Um, I'm so sorry if I butchered that name. Judging by the title. Do I need to say anything more about the game? Here was an up close up bridge to a fight. And yes, back in the day I was so obsessed with bridge to a fight. I was honestly like obsessed with a lot of like games that involved swords and sword fighting. A bridge to a fight was like one of those kinds of games. Yeah, that's like pretty straightforward. Let's go on to the final place. Our last destination is Disaster Hotel. And I'm t on top of here, but this is what it looks like. If I actually like jump down here, this is what it looks like. It is made in 2010 by Water Lehman. As you can tell by the title, it is a survival game where you survive on a hotel. Basically, players survive as long as they can through these disasters, the fire, flood, earthquake, tsunami, storm, nuclear bomber. It's said that earthquake is like deadly, but other people say, oh, nuclear is deadlier. Nuke can be used as the last word, and sometimes disasters happen without warning. And every time you die, you get a certain amount of points depending on your survival duration. And you can also purchase items that can help you with your survival. And there's also a VIP t shirt, which uh, back in the day before game passes were introduced, you have to buy a t shirt that will grant you access to like exclusive things. That is, if you wear it in game. Uh, and so in Disaster Hotel, if you wear that t shirt, you, if I'm not mistaken, um, it will grant you more points and free teleportation and faster walk speed. There's the green blue spiral out there, and there's also the lane as well for the planes. Yeah, this is Disaster Hotel from the top view. Right here, there's also the pool. And so, yeah. Oh my god, that's so cool. <laughs> Get these like water effects if you like walk on it. I decided to come here to Santa with the Stronghold because um, this is personal preference, by the way. This is may not be biased. This is honestly one of my favorite builds. It's so pretty. I just love it. <laughs> Anyways, that's the video for today. I um, hope you guys enjoyed this history class as much as I enjoyed doing research about it. And there's also like facts in here that like I didn't know was a thing. So, anyways, thank y'all so much for watching, and see you in the next one.